Text 227F, Theoretical Maximum Specific Gravity of Bituminous Mixtures. A water temperature of 77 plus or minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit is a standard calibration and test temperature. The water temperatures used during the pycnometer calibration and the final weighing of the pycnometer containing mixture must be within 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Tear the scale with the weighing apparatus suspended in water. Submerge the metal pycnometer in water by placing it into the water bath at an angle. Hang the metal pycnometer from the weighing apparatus and allow the scale to stabilize. Weigh and record as D, weight of calibrated pycnometer submerged in water, to the nearest 0.1 gram. If using the theoretical maximum specific gravity in the calculation of laboratory molded density, cure the sample at the same temperature and for the same length of time as a sample used for molding. Use a circular motion with a trowel while exerting downward pressure to roll the aggregate and effectively break apart individually coated aggregate. Tear the scale. Weigh and record as A, weight of dry sample and air, to the nearest 0.1 gram. Transfer the weighted sample into the metal pycnometer. Take care not to lose any of the material. Cover the sample with water at approximately the temperature used for calibration. The water level must be adequate to submerge the entire sample by approximately one inch, yet not be so high to cause water to siphon into the vacuum lines during the test. Place the vacuum lid with O-ring on the metal pycnometer and place on vibrating table. Clamp to hold in place. Turn on the vacuum pump and lower the residual pressure within the system to 2 inches of mercury. This equates to a vacuum gauge reading of 27.9 inches of mercury. Turn the vibrating table on and maintain the residual pressure and agitation for 10 to 15 minutes. After the 10 to 15 minutes, turn the vibrating table off. Then turn the vacuum pump off and gently release the pressure. Remove the metal pycnometer from the vibrating table and remove the flat plexiglass vacuum lid. Check the water temperature. It must be within 2 degrees Fahrenheit of the calibration temperature. Tear the scale with the weighing apparatus suspended in water. Submerge the metal pycnometer with sample in water by placing it into the water bath at an angle. This will prevent any air from remaining under the bottom of the metal pycnometer. Hang the metal pycnometer from the weighing apparatus and allow the scale to stabilize. Weigh and record the weight as E, weight of pycnometer containing sample while submerged in water, to the nearest 0.1 gram.